Morning Praise, March 2nd, 2021. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Hasten to save me, O God. O Lord, come quickly to help me. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Let us worship him. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us make a joyful noise to him with songs of praise. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. The deep places of the earth are in his hand. The heights of the hills are also his. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hand formed the dry land. O come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Psalm 126 When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, we were like those who dream. Then our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongue with shouts of joy. Then they said among the nations, The Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us. We are glad. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, let streams in the ne- like streams in the Negev. Those who sow in tears shall reap with shouts of joy. He who goes out weeping, bearing the seed of for sowing, shall come home with shouts of joy, bringing his sheaves with him. In our lesson today from Genesis chapter 21, again we're going to walk through some lessons from Genesis this week as we see God's uh, promised Savior uh, fulfilled in the, in the family line of, of Abraham. The birth of Isaac from Genesis 21. The Lord visited Sarah as he had said, and the Lord did to Sarah as he had promised. And Sarah conceived and bore Abraham a son in his old age at the time of which God had spoken to him. Abraham called the name of his son who was born to him, whom Sarah bore him, Isaac. And Abraham circumcised his son Isaac when he was eight days old, as God had commanded him. Abraham was a hundred years old when his son Isaac was born to him. And Sarah said, God has made laughter for me. Everyone who hears will laugh over me. And she said, Who would have said to Abraham that Sarah would nurse children? Yet I have borne him a son in his old age. And the child grew and was weaned. And Abraham made a great feast on the day that Isaac was weaned. But Sarah saw the son of Hagar, the Egyptian, whom she had borne to Abraham, laughing. So she said to Abraham, Cast out this slave woman with her son, for the son of this slave woman shall not be heir with my son Isaac. And the thing was very displeasing to Abraham on account of his son. But God said to Abraham, Be not displeased because of the boy and because of your slave woman. Whatever Sarah says to you, do as she tells you. For through Isaac shall your offspring be named. And I will make a nation of the son of the slave woman also, because he is your offspring. So Abraham rose early in the morning and took bread and a skin of water and gave it to Hagar, put it on her shoulder, along with the child, and sent her away. And She departed and wandered in the wilderness of Beersheba. When the water and the skin was gone, she put the child under one of the bushes. Then she went and sat down opposite him a good way off, about the distance of a bow shot, for she said, Let me not look on the death of the child. And as she sat opposite him, she lifted up her voice and wept. And God heard the voice of the boy, and the angel of God called to Hagar from heaven and said to her, What troubles you, Hagar? Fear not, for God has heard the voice of the boy where he is. Up, lift up the boy, and hold him fast with your hand. For I will make him into a great nation. Then God opened her eyes, and she saw a well of water. And she went and filled the skin with water and gave the boy a drink. And God was with the boy, and he grew up. He lived in the wilderness and became an expert with the bull. He lived in the wilderness of Paran, and his mother took a wife for him from the land of Egypt. The word of our Lord. And again, you see God, um, first and foremost, carrying out his, his promise um, that he had made uh, the promise of the offspring in Isaac, and then his family line would, would carry that, that promised offspring who would come and destroy destroy the devil and be struck on the cross, as we know, and see Scripture fulfilled. Um, that continues to be the, 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 the comfort, the, the, in a sense, the reason we know of Abraham and this whole family 
um, because this is how God carried out uh, what we'll see happen um, on Good Friday and Easter Sunday. Um, the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ, the promised offspring, our Savior. In this text, you see then also um, God fulfilling a promise in Abraham and Sarah, seven, 25 years, waited and waited for this son, for this seed. And it came. And it came in God's time when he was 100 years old. Um, natural laws that God had, had, had instilled in the beginning, um, he can do what he, he pleases with them. And he had a son at 100 years old. And it was the son. And, and then you see the laughter picture here. This, this laughter picture of calling him laughter. And, and then it was Hagar's child, the, the, the child of the slave woman, who, who laughed at him, mocking him, mocking that, that promised seed. Um, and then came um, God's hand of deliverance as he made, made Ishmael into a great nation as well. Um, but it was through Isaac that this promise was going to come. Um, revealed to Sarah, uh, revealed to Abraham, that this was the, the, the promised seed. And so, because of that, we recognize the words of the psalm. The words that um, we will sow in tears shall reap with shouts of joy. Right, so shouts, shouts of, of laughter, of joy, um, because of of what we know God does, even in the midst of sorrow and mourning and suffering and, and confusion, and what seems to be madness, um, we continue to to cling to Jesus and His promise and that promise of, of, of life and salvation, and we see Him time after time um, turn sorrow to joy, um, as well as at the end of the end of it all. Um, the, the joy of, of life with him now and forever. God, God keep us focused on, on that promise. We praise you, O God. We acclaim you as Lord. All creation worships you, Father everlasting. To you, all angels, all the powers of heaven, cherubim and seraphim, sing an endless praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of heavenly hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The white-robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world, the Holy Church acclaims you. Father of majesty unbounded, your glorious, true, and only Son, and the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide, you, Christ, are the King of glory, the eternal Son of the Father. When you became man to set us free, you humbled yourself to be born of a virgin. You overcame the sting of death and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You sit at the right hand of God in the glory of the Father. We believe that you will come to be our judge, Come then, Lord, and help your people, bought with the price of your own blood, and bring us with your saints to glory everlasting. In the morning, O Lord, I call to you. Be merciful to me and hear my prayer. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And we pray. Heavenly Father, though we do not deserve your goodness, still you provide for all our needs of body and soul. Grant us your Holy Spirit that we may acknowledge your gifts, give thanks for all your benefits, and serve you in willing obedience through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Mm -hmm.